Okay, I want to talk about the Bible, the Bible in general as a whole. Most people know that the scriptures are a weapon, okay? The scriptures are considered a spiritual sword. The sword is also your tongue, right? The words that come out of your tongue. There's a lot of people out there, you know, getting walked all over, spiritually speaking, you know, suffering from racial bullying and all types of stuff because they're not using the verses in the Bible to defend themselves. There's a lot of verses in the Bible that you could use to defend yourself if you feel you're being attacked by anybody, even those inside the church, all right, even amongst believers. And I think that's what you got going on in these end times. There's a lot of infighting because, you know, we need to see who's who. And, you know, you're only getting, you know, belittled and bullied and oppressed because you're allowing it. There's plenty of verses in the Bible that can back you up to defend yourself. You know, if somebody throws a verse at you, well, you could throw a verse back at them or two, three, however many you need. So you got to know how to rightly divide the word, all right? There's no need for you to be getting bullied, all right, on any level. There's no need for you to be getting oppressed. The Bible is a sword, all right? Our weapons are not carnal. You use the Bible to defend yourself, all right? It's kind of like when you go to court, right? You look for a verse there that could back you up. If you're not using the Bible to, to help you out, then that's on you, okay? The Bible can work for you or it can work against you, all right? There's so much good stuff in there if you know how to decipher it all. Yeah, they turn it, like I said in videos in times past, they turn into like a jigsaw puzzle. You know, you master the book, you know, well, then you could, you know, the better you could defend yourself, all right? And if you could tie the extra sources that it mentions in there, like the extra canonical, extra biblical, and pseudepigraphal works, even better, right? You got more weapons at your disposal, more swords or different types of artillery. So, yeah, don't, you know, don't, don't be a doormat for anybody, all right? Uh, there's a lot of sensitive Christians out there, believers, that they just take it. Don't don't take it. You know who? I'm telling you, man. Just because you're a believer doesn't mean you have to, you know, take the abuse. If you feel you're getting abused, the scriptures are there. Use the scriptures and use them with uh, conviction. Use them uh, like you would use a weapon. You you throw a verse. It's kind of like a sword if you're going to use a sword you know you want to you know make sure you use it to the best of your ability and if you're going to attack somebody with it to and, def and self-defense of course then you throw the verse out there you know just to throw it out there you know like eat it <laughs> but you know you can't be scared to you know to uh, engage in spiritual warfare right um there's so much you could do. There's no reason for you to get it, be getting bullied. Doesn't matter if you're a uh, black, white, brown, red, Asian, Caucasian, uh, Melanesian, African, Negro, Hispanic, Latino. It doesn't matter. If one of your own is coming against you, use the scriptures, all right? They're there for a reason. And if they don't like it, that's too damn bad. But, yeah, you only getting attacked because you're allowing it all right um you gotta get tough and yeah don't be scared to uh battle you know not just those outside of the church not not just those that aren't believers sometimes you get along you know much better with the non-believers than you do with believers because they're all warped in their own little heresies and whatnot or maybe you don't agree with them but it doesn't matter you can't be partial you know Hey, if, if some of your own are going off, then, hey, you let them have it spiritually, all right? Um, yeah, that's all I got for this video audio recording. Uh, it's not very long. I just wanted to throw that out there because I know there's some sensitive Christians out there that they're they're scared to speak up. You know, they're scared to cause. They're scared to be, you know, seen in a different light. Don't don't be scared. You don't have to be politically correct. Um yeah, don't 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 be shy, man. There's there's enough info out there for you to take and use as a weapon against those that would come against you, all right? Um
there's no need to wait around and whatever, you know. If somebody's attacking you, make a video on them, all right? Don't be scared, as they say, all right? So, yeah, that's all I got for this video. As always, my beloved, continue in the faith. Um, catch you later. Till next time. Peace.